My name is Ellen Goldstein and I am the World Bank's country director for Southeastern Europe. This is a unit which covers six countries in the Balkans, including Albania. Well, Albania, of course, uh, has uh, a number of tremendous advantages. Of course, location is everything. Um, uh, and uh, Albania has tremendous natural resource potential, hydropower potential, mining potential, um, and of course, uh, tourism potential based on the beautiful uh, natural uh, environment that you have here. So these are some of the areas, but in addition, of course, you have the Albanian people who are actually highly entrepreneurial and um, have proven themselves to be mobile and flexible in pursuit of, of economic growth and individual uh, well-being. Uh, so we need to really harness that and to build up the skill base of the Albanian labor force as well so that they can go out and really uh, maximize their own potential. One thing that we uh, often talk about is what's called a middle income trap. And Albania could be viewed as potentially uh, having the risk of, of, of falling into this middle income trap where in some senses you're still too poor a country, too low income a country to uh, be a world-class innovator and world-class service provider into the global market, and yet at the same time, you're too rich, if you will, to do low-cost manufacturing. So then it becomes more difficult to figure out what is really the niche for Albania in terms of high quality goods that can be manufactured, um, export of labor, uh, services, tourism that can be uh, provided. So that I think is, is an area w that uh, needs to be um, carefully thinked about. In my view there are sort of four broad areas that uh, government may want to focus on initially. The first one, which is true for any government, is to think about uh, preventing any bad things from happening, if you will. And there are really two areas where, if there isn't immediate action taken, uh, uh, there can be some negative consequences. And that would be in dealing with power sector problems. So you have a very troubled power sector in Albania. And also in shoring up some of the vulnerabilities in the financial sector, particularly reducing the level of non-performing loans in, in the sector. Now, um, the other three areas that I suggested to the Prime Minister, number one is uh, measures to work on job creation, particularly improving the investment climate. That's one area, job creation. The next area is to uh, improve service delivery and to strengthen public trust in government institutions in the delivery of services. And then the final area that I think is critically important, given what tremendous natural resources Albania has, is to focus on protecting those natural endowments, cleaning up the environmental hotspots, the legacies, and also safeguarding uh, the future through policies that actually have good enforcement aligned with, with European Union directives.